welcome to our discussion we are still moving through income tax a subtopic in commercial arithmetic 2 form 3 mathematics and the question reads the table below shows the income tax rates we have the table which shows total income per month in kenyan pounds and also tax rates in shillings per pound the question further continues to say Mr. Tiende earned a basic salary of shillings 13,120 and a house allowance of shillings 3,000 per month. He claimed a tax relief of he claimed a tax relief for a married person of shillings 455 per month, but he calculated the tax payable without relief. In this case, what we mean is gross tax. Or simply total tax. So we start by first getting the taxable income. And taxable income is usually given by taking the basic salary. You add all the taxable allowances, you less what we call nominal rent usually for the people who are given free housing by the employer. We have a basic salary of 13,120. We add a house allowance of 3,000. We do not have any other allowances or nominal rent and therefore when you add the two, you'll get a total of shillings 16,000. 120 and this is per month we now move to the table before we start taxing the table is in a kenyan pounds per month and therefore whatever we have here we change it into kenyan pounds into kenyan pounds we are going to have into kenyan pounds we simply take 16 120 we divide by 20 and this one is going to give us kenyan pounds 806 that is our taxable income in kenyan pounds per month next now we go and calculate the gross tax from the table first we need to check where our money lies eight or six lies in the third bracket that means we are going to tax this amount three times simply have your first bracket here have your second bracket and lastly the third bracket in the first bracket we usually take the maximum which is 325 in the second bracket, we take the maximum second minus maximum first. So that is 650 minus 325, which gives us 325. And in the third bracket, this is where our money lies. We call it the remaining. And therefore, we have to add the amount we have taxed in the first and the second, then less from 806. So we are going to have 806 minus 325 times 2 325 times 2 will give us 650 8 or 6 minus 650 will give us a 156 and that is the remaining pounds that we are going to tax in the third bracket now we can collect tax by multiplying by the rates given in the first bracket the rate is two shillings in the second we have three and in the third we have four so whatever amount we get on this other side will give us the gross tax so if you take 325 times two you get shillings 650 325 times three you get a uh, shillings 975 and if you take 156 times 4, you get shillings 624. 
and whatever amount you get here will give us what we call total or gross tax in shillings 650 975 624 will give us a total of 2249 and this is what the question wants us to calculate that is already part a worked out that is part a roman one part a roman two part a roman two the tax paid after relief that is the net tax or pay and how do we get the tax paid tax paid or the actual amount paid would be gotten by taking the gross tax we minus relief the gross tax we have is 22.49 minus the relief of uh, 455 and this one gives us an amount equivalent to 1794 again that is roman 2 done we move to part b in part b we are told apart from the income tax the other deductions that were made was follows a service charge of 100 a health insurance of 280 and two percent of his basic salary as window and children pension scheme calculate the total monthly deductions from mr otende's income so for us to get total deductions the first deduction is that of the tax paid of 17.94 apart from that we are told we have a service charge of 100 plus 280 as a the insurance fund and 2% of the basic salary plus 2% that is 2 out of 100 of the basic salary and the basic salary is 13,120 so 13,120 will give us 262 and 40 cents that means we are going to have 17,94 plus 100 plus 280 plus 262 40 cents and this one gives us a total of 2436 40 cents as the total deductions that is b roman 1 then b roman 2 we are told to calculate Mr. Otienda's net income from his employment. How do we get net income? Net income is given by taking the taxable income minus total deductions. The total taxable income from the question was 16,120 minus a total deduction of 24.36.40 cents and this one is going to give us an amount equivalent to 13,683.60 cents that is the answer to this particular question thank you for watching and welcome to our discussions and in case you are watching this channel for the first time Please take a second or two, you click the subscribe button so that anytime we publish a video like this, you'll automatically be given a notification. Thank you and welcome.